what it is. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm going to see you. Hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would make another video of me setting up for comebacks as quite a few are in the progress of happening or have already happened that I have not set up for yet. So yeah, um, we're gonna start off with Monster X, which is pretty simple. I did already go ahead and shuffle things around. Essentially, I only collect one member of Monster X and their comebacks have been pretty consistent um, in the past, like, since Follow? Yeah, since Follow, it's been uh, four photo cards plus a Kino. Sometimes there's like extra things. And then for Fantasia, it was the same way, but there was like unit cards. And then for Fatal Love, it was also the same way. And then this is the Kino card in the middle. So that is the plan uh, this time around as well. I plan to have um, all four of Shonu's photo cards in these four spots and then his Kino in the middle. And then I will make fillers just like these ones and put them in the corners. So that's essentially the plan for Monster X. It's not very complicated. I shuffled everything down and I think I like this the best where it's like um, the two members and then two and then two. So I did move things around a little bit and rearrange these collections a little bit. But yeah, and then there's his group cards and then the extra ones on the back. So that's how I shuffled my Monstex collection around. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited for their new comeback. It looks really good. And yeah, so that will be the setup. Pretty easy. And then for large item stuff, I don't know what pockets will fit what items. So I will just leave it until I have a better idea. But yeah, so that was um, the setup for Monster X. Now we move on. Okay, so the next group I'm going to be setting up is going to be Itzy. Now they did already have their comeback and I did already set up for um, their regular album. So essentially, where is it? Um, I just put in this page um, for Leah. It's the four photo cards and then the special pre-order card. Um, that's the whole setup for that one. But they did recently just announce that they're going to be having a limited album, which, thanks JYP. <laughs> um, but I have this here. So the album is one version, which confused me at first because there is two photo books, but apparently they're both inside this thing. So that's fun. So there's two photo books and a CD. And then there's going to be um, one set of photo cards that's going to be random, so you get two photo cards out of five. And I did buy two copies of this album because I plan on collecting OT5 for these photo cards, just because I thought, um, why not? Because then I would have six photo cards for Leah if I didn't, so I just thought it would be easier. So yeah, I'm going to collect OT5 for these. And then there is also a special photo card set, which you do get the full thing um, per album. And there is a group card as well. Does this one have a group card? No, this one doesn't. This one does have a group card. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the group card. Unless this is the group card. I feel like that's the back of the card, so I don't think that's the group card. Um, but yeah, and then there's a postcard, but that doesn't really matter. So. Um, I'm basically just going to do two more um, nine pocket pages for that setup and have the random photo card set and the special photo card set. I will set this one up as five photo cards. Um, I might just put the group card on the back if I don't really find it important enough. Well, that's going to be the setup for the limited Itzy album. So let's do that. So I do have two nine pocket pages that I'm going to throw in there and then some white sleeves. Yeah, 
So that's pretty much going to be the setup for the uh, limited album. It's going to be two OT5 sets, which I think is going to look really cute. So yeah, that is uh, Itzy, which was super simple. Now we're going to move on to just in front, which is Everglow. So for Everglow, let's see here. Oh yeah. So this is the kind of, oh, I guess spoilers for the Everglow photo cards in case you don't want to see them, just like skip ahead like a minute. But yeah, so these are the um, photo cards for the Everglow comeback. Um, there is six of them. So there is five regular photo cards for EU and then the QR first press card, which is really, really cute. They give me like Luna photo card vibes especially like the outdoorsy ones, I don't know, but yeah. Um, the one thing that isn't on here is actually the MMT photo cards, so I do always buy Everglow off of my music taste to get the MMT photo cards, so there is also that photo card that I will be getting, making it seven photo cards, which I love seven, so I'm very happy with that. So, essentially, um, we're just going to add a nine pocket page right here. Beautiful. And then for now, I'm just going to fill in all the slots with pink sleeves. So that's pretty much the setup for Everglow's comeback. It's going to be a seven pattern, so these two will stay blank. Um, depending on which photo card looks the most different, that'll be the card I'll put in the middle, um, which will either be the QR card or the MMT card. Actually, when I look at it, um, the QR card looks very similar to this photo card so maybe it won't go in the middle um and then these two i guess kind of are both pink i think this card is my favorite it's so pretty so maybe that one will go in the middle we'll have to see what the mmt card looks like but yeah so that's pretty much the setup for everglow also pretty easy so now we're gonna move on Next, we're moving on to Twice, and this one is probably going to be the most complicated <laughs> um, because Twice is always complicated, but yes, so I do actually have two binders for Twice, and I have actually moved stuff around since the last time that you've seen my binders, but this binder now holds all of my OT9 sets as well as the pre-order sets, so everything OT9 essentially goes in this binder, which I'm very happy with. Um, I think it's really cute. But for the comeback, um, let's see, there's three versions. Okay, so for the photo cards, there is five photo cards per member. So I do collect two members, which is Dahyun and Jihyo. Um, so there's 10 photo cards there. But then they also have lenticulars, which I find very interesting. So the lenties are bigger than photo cards, but not by much, so they should still fit in nine pocket pages, at least I'm hoping. Um, so I think my plan, because I do want to collect at least one OT9 set, I think my plan is going to be for the actual like Dashin and Jihyo collection, I'm going to collect um, like a set of five, kind of like the year of yes, but the middle one, the middle one will be the lenticular. And then I will be collecting one OT9 uh, photo card set that's not the lenticular. So I think that's the plan. Unless the lenticulars are so pretty that like I absolutely have to collect them OT9, which may be the case. But for now, since we don't know what they look like, I can't set it up with like version specifics. So I'm just going to set it up uh, as it is. So we'll start. Oh, oh yeah, this is also a pre-order. Not, not a pre-order. This is a fan-made uh, 
set that I bought because it was just so pretty. So it just kind of hangs in the front. But these are all of my OT9 sets. Um, and yeah, so we'll get to the end of this. Here. And then behind this is all of the pre-order sets. So we're going to put in one, one nine pocket page for the OT9 set that I will be collecting. And then for now, I'm not going to put sleeves in, but I do have um, fillers. So I'm going to put in, I think I had it starting at nine. So I'm going to put in these fillers because that's what I usually do for OT9 sets. So we'll put these in. So yeah, I have no idea what OT9 set I'll be collecting out of the six possibilities, but we will see once the album actually comes out and we can look at the photo cards, but for now, I do plan on collecting at least one OT9 set. And then for the pre-order benefits, the setup is a tad different because I do use purple sleeves. Uh, so here's the end of this, so I am going to add... I guess two nine pocket pages for the OT9 sleeves and or OT, for the pre-order sets. I'm not going to put purple sleeves in them just because you do get the full set all at once so there's not really a need to have to put them in just to take them out again. So I am just going to leave these blank um, for when I actually do fill them up with pre-order sets. But yeah, so that'll be the three one, two, and three pre-order sets, and then for the group cards, I will have to shuffle this around a little bit. So we now only need one of these. Uh, and then we're gonna move these accordingly. There we go, and then the one blank card will go in the middle there, and then the three new pre-order sets will go on the bottom. I also hate the fact that these are opposites because they're both right side up on the back. Like I really, really hate that. That bothers me so much. They do it, I think, here as well. Wait, do they? Yeah, they do it here as well. In here, like there's multiples that are all like different sides. I hate it so much. Even these ones are backwards. It's the worst. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so the three group cards will go there. And then I don't really know. I'll just move these things, I guess. There'll be space. I'll make space for the envelopes. But yeah, so that's the plan for the OT9 sets and the pre orders in this binder. And then in my actual collection binder, we're gonna flip to the end over here. Here. I also took out some of the pointless stuff that was in here, so now it's like solely just member specific things and not just like all the postcards, but yes, yeah, so it's gonna start here. So we will just need one nine pocket page. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, unfortunately we're gonna have to do a setup similar to the year of yes because there is only gonna be five photo cards, which is very sad in my opinion. But yeah, so I'm gonna take some purple sleeves. We're just gonna take four for the Jihyo page and put them here. like so just so it's even and then I do have the fillers to fill in the spots that they're gonna go so I'm gonna put those in
So yeah, that will be the setup for Dahyun and Jihyo's pages. Uh, yeah, sadly it won't be a full page of nine like usual. I am very sad about that, but yeah, that's the plan for my Dahyun and Jihyo collection. And that will be it for twice. There are like the large item things, but um, for those, it's always a question of how big they're going to be, if they're going to fit in three pockets or four pockets or two pockets. So we'll wait until we receive them to figure out how to organize those. So yeah, that will be it for twice. Um, next up, I actually do need to go back into my girl group binder because I forgot about one group at the very back here. Um, that group being... Rua. So Rua recently just had a comeback and their album, their physical album, drops soon. So I did pre-order the albums. Um, so here's the template for it. There is two versions, um, which are super cute looking. I'm so excited. And then there is actually going to be four photo cards per member because there's ten per version. And then there's also going to be IDs which looks like you can take them out of the little envelopes and then that probably I'm just gonna sleeve them and treat them as regular photo cards um though they'll be like little IDs and that's pretty much it and there is also um a K-Town for You photo card um they're doing one of those events with K-Town for You where they do have uh, a set of photo cards and you pull like one random per album so I'll be getting two so hopefully I'll pull hers but yes so the setup plan for Wua is going to be a page of seven because of that so this is the first page where it was her first album photo card and then her three things from the second um, so here we are going to add a nine pocket page We're gonna add two blank fillers to go here and here. And yeah, so I'm not too positive how I'm gonna set it up, but I'll probably have the two IDs in the corners and then the K-Town for You photo card in the middle if it looks the most different from the rest. And yeah, so that's gonna be the setup for their comeback, which I'm very excited for because I love Wua so much. <laughs> They're so, so precious to me. So yeah, that's basically it. It was very quick and very simple. So now we're gonna move on. Next, we're moving on to a comeback that has already happened, which is NCT Dream. Uh, let's get to Dream. Ooh, NCT Dream. So I don't have the um, album detail uh, photos with me, um, but I do have templates for the members. So this is Mark's and essentially there is the three photo cards from the photo book version plus the Cafe 7 Dream photo card set and then the two photo cards from the Jewel Case, which was the Jewel Case photo card and then the AR photo card thingy, my bob. So um, each member <laughs> has the exact same setup, three and then three. So there's six photo cards, which if you collect three members, works pretty darn well um, to the point where it's laughable at how easy this is going to be. So it goes right after reload, so it'll be right here, but we pretty much just need two nine pocket pages. You go right there. As for fillers, I do have some fillers already made that I just um, had previously used. So I'm gonna put some of these in. And then I do have a bunch of blank ones, so I'm gonna really quickly make the last few fillers that I need.
there we go. So I've finished making the rest of the fillers that I need. So I'm going to put them in now. And there we go. So that is the setup for hot sauce. It'll be the three photo cards from the regular photo book version. And then it'll be the cafe photo cards, the regular photo cards from the jewel case, and then the AR clips will probably be in the middle. So that I think is going to be the setup for that. If they do have kinos, um, I won't set up for it because I won't be collecting everyone's kinos because I don't collect kinos fully for any NCT member aside from Hendry. Um, so, because if I were to collect every member, it would probably be at least two versions of the kino because there was, no, three. There would probably be three kinos per member that I would have to collect. Four if they want to throw in like a jewel case version, which would be insane. So that would be so many kinos that I would have to collect and that'd be so much money. So I'm definitely not going to do it. If anything, I'll probably just buy a set of the kinos and then just keep whoever I pull like I usually do. So that doesn't really require a setup. So yeah, that will be my plan for the NCT Dream Hot Sauce album. I'm very excited for it. It's going to look very pleasing to have uh, two full pages and I do have a handful of these photo cards on the way already. So yeah, that is everything for NCT Dream. Um, next we have my boy group binder, which um, has a, a handful of things that need to be updated. Um, EXO is having a comeback and Baekhyun apparently is still in this comeback, though he's in the military now. Um, so I will still be collecting Sehun and Baekhyun for this comeback, but um, there's no album details out yet, so I can't set up for it until the album details come out, unfortunately. So we're just casually waiting on those. For New East, they did have their comeback. Um, I did already set up for it. I just haven't put away any of the cards yet. Um, so I'll show you guys how I did it because New East decided to go absolutely berserk and give us 40 photo cards per member. 40. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but I am not, unfortunately. So, uh, there's a bunch of pages here. This is all for one album. Essentially, the first two pages are Beko's um, actual selfie photo cards, plus a group card in the middle of this one and a group card in the middle of that one, because there is 10 photo cards per member, 20 unit cards per member, and then there's 10 group cards. Um, so yeah. So it'll be uh, six and then four and the two group cards in the middle because I think Beko is the one holding the phone for two of the group cards so I decided to put those two there. And then this was just like my favorite unit set version so I decided to put those here plus a group card in the middle. And then there is a page of eight, so two different versions of unit photo cards. I think, no, it's all of JR's units and all of Aaron's, plus a group card in the middle. And then all of Minhyun's units and all of Ren's units, plus a group card in the middle. And when I say like Minhyun's units, I mean the ones that Beko and Minhyun are in together. So there's those, because there's actually five per member, but I chose my favorite one to go in the front. And then the very last page is the five last group cards after that. So yeah, it's a lot. Um, it'll be very interesting to see how well I do with that, but that was New East. But the next one I actually do have to set up is 17. So they are having 
a comeback, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, so for this comeback, uh, let's see, there's three photo books, there's three postcards I'll have to collect, as well as two mini cards, and I, I'm assuming just one unit card, but there might be more. And then there's going to be three photo cards. <laughs> only three photo cards which is whack uh and then stickers bookmarks that's essentially it so yeah pretty much what's 100 by 150 yeah they are smaller 70 by yeah don't don't think any of these will fit okay interesting so yeah so the plan is basically do what I did last time. So if we flip all the way to the end of my Ming Hao collection, uh, I guess for this one, there was only two photo cards, so I just have like non-album stuff in the middle. And then for this one, I'll pretty much be doing the same thing. These are white spots. So I'm going to fill in the spots that won't have photo cards. So yeah, my plan with um, this 17 comeback will just be to collect the three Ming Hao photo cards and then one either pre-order benefit or like fan sign card, just like a photo card from this era that matches well with the rest of those photo cards so that'll be the plan so it'll be four photo cards like that and then i'll add all of the larger item stuff in once i receive them but yes so that's the plan for 17 which is pretty easy now that i think about it i could potentially just have like the semicolon cards here and then like the three or like the semicolon cards here and then like the three cards here. Um, we'll see how I feel about that um, once I actually receive the cards, but for now we're just gonna have it in this pattern. But yeah, so that's it for 17. And then there is no SF9 comeback, but there is a TXT one. So for TXT, it is pretty interesting. So it does seem like it's the same process as usual where there's three photo cards, but then they also have these OS, original story photo cards, and you get one in every album, which is nice. So you actually get two photo cards in every album which will be great because I'll only need two of these. So hopefully I can get uh, Subin and Bongyu's pretty easy. These will be on another question. Uh, yeah, and then there's limited photo tickets, but don't really care much about those. And then postcards. So pretty easy setup in my opinion. Um, the plan will be to put it right here. It's just going to be one page with a black sleeve in the middle. That's gonna be this way. And then I'm going to surround it with white sleeves for all of the photo cards. The plan is going to be pretty simple. It's pretty much just going to be like Subin's cards here and then Bongyu's cards here. And it'll just be like parallel the photo cards. So the OS ones will probably go here and then versions 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, and 3. So pretty easy. Or 1, 2, and 3 because it'll be like opposite. I'm not sure how I'm going to set it up. 
it will be depending on what the photo cards look like, but um, it all fits perfectly onto this one page, so I'm pretty happy with that, and yeah. So that is going to be the very easy setup of TXT, um, and I'm pretty sure that's about it, though I probably will add another one pocket sleeve to put in the postcards if they are too big like these ones to fit in two pockets. And yes, that is everything that I had to set up today. So that was um, this video of me setting up four recent comebacks and comebacks that have already happened, though most of them are future comebacks this time for once, so I'm pretty proud of myself there to be ahead, but yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. My trading Instagram is Yomansung in the description below. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!